back to my YouTube channel. I'm just sitting out here getting some vitamin D. It's been rainy. There's a lot of flooding going on in New Brunswick right now. Uh, this video I tried to make for the past few days. I filmed it a few days ago. It is my warm-up stretching routine. It will include what I do to warm up, what I do to stretch before leg day, how I activate my glutes before leg day, and how I cool down afterwards. I was going to make a few videos on this, but I decided that I'm just going to cram it all into one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, this is my personal video. This is what I do. It may not work for everyone, but I'd love for you to give it a try and let me know what you think of it. Also, I am a hot mess as normal. I'm in between two jobs. As I said, I've been trying to get this video done and sometimes it just, it is what it is. So also, if you have anything that you guys do for warm ups, glute activation, I love to hear them in the comment section below. So please leave them there. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel so that I can give you more content. And let me know kind of what you're into as this page grows, where you'd like to see it go. My journey to happiness is going great. I feel better and I'm ready to start a little cut because I'm kind of staying at a plateau right now so i'm going to change up my routine add a little more cardio in in the next few days so yeah uh without further ado here's the video i hope you like it give it a thumbs up and uh i'll see you in the next one bye guys i like to begin my leg day warm-up by an incline walk on the treadmill I usually go between incline of 10 and 15 at a speed of 3.0 for 5 to 10 minutes just to make sure my legs are nice and warmed up before I begin my routine. These next two laying band stretches are great for warming up the hamstrings and making sure they're stretched out. It is also extremely good for opening up your hips and as I said I have tight tight hips so this is a great one to make sure that my hips are nice and open and ready to go for leg day. Leg swings are great dynamic stretching exercise. This exercise is a great stretch to help with the hip muscles and the hip joints. This movement also is to prevent injury and reduces pain in the hip area, which we all know we carry a lot of. Lateral leg swings can be a valuable addition to your workout. Most traditional workouts neglect the hip joint. When this joint is targeted as in forward lunges, walking or jogging, the primary motions are flexion and extension. These are only two of the possible six movements of the hip joint. Focusing so strongly on a few basic movements possibly can lead to muscle imbalance and cause lack of motion lateral leg swings can focus on two other movements of the hips uh which one is abduction which is moving the thigh away from the center of the body and adduction which is moving the thigh forward and across the center of the body rock and hip flexors is the act of raising the thigh towards the trunk or bending the trunk towards the thigh there are several muscles that create the hips this stretch is not only great because it lengths the hip flexors but also forces you to control your abs and glute those muscles are very important to be in pain free rocking hip flexor stretch is a great way to combat the problem of having tight hips because it activates the underworked muscles glutes and abs and relaxes the overworked muscles throughout the hip flexor so rocking hip abductors are important because they help with the ability to stand walk and rotate her leg with ease it will help prevent pain and injury in your hips and knees if you already have these issues this exercise is used to treat this pain these exercises not only help the muscles not only move the leg out but also help rotate it Lateral lunges are an effective way to work the muscle of your lower body. They target your butt or gluteus maximus muscle known as your glutes. And really, who isn't trying to grow those?
here, I'm just taking it lower side to side to really wake up those quadriceps and hamstrings and give those legs a nice, nice big stretch before I'm about to destroy them with my leg day. Walking lunges target the quadriceps, but also involve additional muscles, including the glutes, hamstrings, calves, and core muscles, making them an important exercise for toning the lower body. They are also back friendly because of the need to keep your back straight and your chest lifted, so you have little risk of back pain. For this one, make sure you keep your back as straight as possible. You may not be able to get as low as I am. It will depend on your hip flexibility, but try to sit as low as possible and then straighten your legs to really engage those hamstrings. Here I am just holding a really low squat, taking my elbows and pressing them against my knees to really open up my hips to give my hips one final stretch before I begin my glute activation. The importance of glute activation is for the strong and properly functioning glutes. This will serve to improve your performance and any activity involving hip extensions, for example squats, deadlifts, running and jumping and to help prevent pain and injury from occurring during the knees and lower back during workout. The glutes need to be woken up, so by doing these simple movements before your leg day, the emphasis will go to your glutes when working out during squats, deadlifts, and so forth, opposed to most of the dominant muscles taken over as your quads or hamstrings. So I always make sure before every workout to take five to 10 minutes to make sure my glutes are ready to go. Cooling down after a workout is just as important as warming up. After any physical activity, your heart rate is still beating faster than your normal and your body temperature is higher and your blood vessels are dilated. It is good to stretch when you're cooling down because your limbs, muscles and joints are still warm. Stretching can reduce buildup of laxitic acid, which can lead to muscles cramping and stiffness. 
tips for cool down stretches are hold each stretch for at least 30 seconds if you feel that after one round you could do another stretch with it go ahead two the stretching should be strong not painful so you should still feel something but not in a lot of pain three do not bounce with any of your movements be as still as possible while stretching and four breathe while you're stretching exhale while you stretch inhale while holding the stretch Hopefully these tips will help you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to go like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.